you can't just say, oh, I give up. You know, I mean, where, where's the, where's the victory in that? Now, all this stuff is a huge amount of contracts and business and all, I mean, it, this is stuff you also learned as you kind of went along, yeah, or did you? A, do you have a partner that taught you all this, or did you hire an attorney? Or internet man, you, 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 didn't, you didn't have the internet, internet guy here, man. Back in the day, and you've I mean, got the world's information. You know how right. to look for it. You got the world's information at your fingertips. There's nothing you cannot learn. There's absolutely nothing you cannot learn, right? In the beginning, I don't really want to touch on this, but in the beginning, one of the partners I had when we first opened up, one of those four photographers, had the domain studiospaceatlanta.com. And when he left, he did not want to turn it over because I, I don't think he wanted it to survive under me at that point. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, there's nothing that did to him. He just he left and did not want it to continue um, under just me. So he kept that domain and actually kind of redirected business away. He would People would go to that website and, you know, he would get rid of that business. And yeah. I'm just like, why? Partnerships but, aren't always no, just happy and fairy not tales. not a yeah. fan of partnerships. Can't make a decision fast enough with a partnership with – when it's just me, I can make the decision right or wrong. I made it. It was quick. And it did it work out or not? It's my fault if it did or did not. And I like that, that I can just go ahead and make that decision and move forward without it having to be a vote back and forth or a discussion mm -hmm. or anything. Boom, we made the decision. We're going to go this way. I had to, I had to learn um, search engine optimization, SEO, myself, because I didn't have the money to pay anybody to do it. Um, so, you know, my one of my ex-partners had the domain and had the website. You know, I had designed the logo myself, which was great because I'd copyrighted it, you know. So I had to learn how to really put my website, Studio Space ATL, at the top of Google and at the same time pushing his, you know, trying to get his down, you know, second or third page where no one will ever see it. And so it was a lot of, you know, getting online and learning how to do these things because I didn't have the money to pay someone to do it. Which, once again, it's not just the fact that I didn't have the money, which I didn't, to get somebody to do it. It's if I figure out how to do it, I can continue doing it without paying anybody, and I can do it myself and manage it myself. Um, so I, I learned that, and I did some DMCA complaints, uh, Digital Millennium Copyright Act uh, complaints on the logo, and you know he had to take the logo off. And then later on, he was still using like a name or something, and he had uh, I got GoDaddy to actually like tell him that he has to remove all of this, or they'll take the website down. And but I had to learn how to do all these things, you know, to to kind of bury that and make our website show up. Mm -hmm. And by doing all that, it makes our website show up a lot better. Me learning how you know how to build the website to to make that happen. And, when are, you, and, and when are you when are you learning that stuff? I mean, you're working all day long, getting home. You no, know, well, the clients are back there shooting. I'm learning it. Okay. You know? And that in the beginning, it was me and uh, me and my, my longest employee, Benny, who's mm -hmm. awesome. You know, so in the beginning, I would do true story. Benny's awesome. Benny's awesome. <laughs> Benny Tichi. Awesome. Hope you're watching, Benny. There you go. Um, and, and, you know, so, uh, you know, half the bookings I would work, half the bookings he would work. And then when I'm at their work in the bookings and they're back there shooting before they don't need me at that point, I'm on there trying to figure all this out. Yeah. And I, I did that for, you know, uh, I did all the graphic design and the logo build and the photography of it, you know, all myself as well. So I didn't have to really lean on anybody else. If something happened with the website, it's such a pain to go to somebody and say, hey, my website's down. Can you figure it out or something like that? Yeah. When you know how to do it yourself, you can fix it right then and there. Don't lose any people going to your website and you're good. Um, and that's, that's kind of I kept that mentality of like, OK, I didn't have money to do this. Let me learn how to do it myself. Yeah. And I just kept that mentality through the whole, you know, through the whole business process at that point. Um, but um, but yeah. You know, learning, you know, learning by fire, learning the hard way, I learn a lot better that way than if, mm -hmm. than if I, you know, if I learned this ahead of time and then brought it into what I'm doing now, I'd still have to learn the new way it's done, you know. If yeah. I learn how to build websites back in the day, it's completely different now. Right. And might as well learn it when I need to do it and then figure that out and yeah. get it done, you know. That's amazing, man. I mean, I admire that because on one hand, yeah, you can learn everything yourself. And we had uh, an entrepreneur um, friend of ours in here who was saying, you know, I asked him about, about partnerships. Mm -hmm said, what do you, you know, what's the philosophy on that? He said, well, you can go faster alone or farther together, yeah. you know, and that's kind of where the dynamic is. But of course, there's so much that goes into, I mean, partnership is like marriage, right? I mean, you've really got to make sure. Yeah, it starts I mean, off good. You get the, yeah, right? You get the yeah. whole person. It's yeah. not like you just get, oh, they're talented or know a lot about this. They're great. Yeah. They're perfect. Yes. Same thing with team members. I mean, yeah. there's so much more that go into it. I mean, we could talk about, you know, personality traits or yeah. voices. We could talk about this idea of, you know, higher, humble, hungry, and smart. 
Well, mm. we, we found out that we also want to add the word stable to that because, you know, <laughs> you got to have, you know, they can be hungry, <laughs> humble and smart, but if they're yeah. not stable, yeah. their, their world falls apart on them, you know, that, that affects you. So there's a lot that goes into when you want to join forces with yeah, anyone. And, you know, of course, the first taste of my mouth of partner wasn't the best one. But uh, later on, when we opened up Atlanta Filmworks, wasn't the biggest fan of, you know, partnering with the, uh, you know, with, with the, the business owner or with the building owner. Great guy, but I didn't yeah. know him well enough. And I had brought my past experiences in with me on that. And then I realized that this isn't going to happen without him being a partner, you know, and I just had to get over that fact. And it's worked great. He's been more a, a silent partner, you know, for, yeah. for the most part. And he's a smart guy and he's a great guy, but you have to get lucky there too sometimes. Yeah. That sometimes you're going to partner up with people who, you know, seem like they're great for the first, you know, few months. And then later on, you, you really find out they have ulterior motives or they're not the best person or they're not right. someone you want to work with for the next decade or more. Right. And, uh, and you know, it's just because I had one partner that wasn't great doesn't mean that every other partner from here on out sure. should be. You yeah. Know? And I like had, anything else in life. I had to learn that, you know, because yeah. I, I had a bad taste in my mouth about that and I just didn't want it, period. But I was like, well, look, if I'm going to, Gonna make this larger building happen. It's, it's just gonna. I'm just gonna have to deal with it, and then mm -hmm. hope I get lucky. And I did. He, you know, he's a great guy. I've got two other partners on that building. I've got a, a partner higher than me and a partner lower than me. And uh, between all three of us, it wouldn't have happened with if e either one of us was not there. Mm -hmm. You know. Um. But yeah. So I've, I've got a good experience with with partners, and I've got a bad experience with partners. And yeah. it, I think a lot of it has to do with you know just being lucky at that point because you yeah. don't always pick who your partner. You can pick who you hire. But you can't always pick who your partner's going to be. Yeah. You know, it just depends on what situation you're in to try to make your end goal happen. Um, but yeah. Yeah. You remind me a lot of Rudy. Saw that movie again yeah. recently. It's like, man, just just keep on just punching away yeah. until you figure out, you know, how to push through. I mean, eventually um, you're going to figure out everything you need to figure out, you know. So once you run into the problem and you try to figure out if, you know, plans A, B, C, and D don't work. You're going to find one yeah. somewhere down that alphabet yeah, yeah, that's going to yeah. end up working for you and is going to solve your problem if you just keep on it. If you, you can't just say, oh, I give up. You know, I mean, where, where's the where's the victory in that? You know, no one, no one does anything with just saying, no, you know what, I can't do this. Any, I can't do this. I'm just going to give up. There's, there's, no, there's no victory in that, you know. Um, What's the... Uh, impetus for you i mean were you raised with this incredible grind ethic i well, mean thank you tell me i have an incredible grind yeah ethic. i mean you know i feel like you've got that i mean you're like andy and shawshank just chipping away not, not great with compliments, digging your tunnel <laughs> what's not that the, not the best of compliments but i appreciate that yeah man um, i mean you know you know I, I i don't know i had great i was fortunate enough to have great parents we didn't mm -hmm. really have any money but i was a teacher you know we didn't have uh, a whole bunch of money but uh you know i had a really good parents that basically said i can do anything i want to and and enforce that they push, you, they yeah, push you push you and accountable. Such a long way man like yeah. you, you, you can either have a bad one where you're like i don't want to be like that or you can have a great one where like i want to be just like that yeah um and you know sometimes people have a bad one and they end up being that you know it's but parents have a lot of um uh, I think have a lot more um, power to shape a child than, than they realize for 100%. a lot of times. And I had two really awesome parents. You know, I got, I got really lucky. So they're still married? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> awesome parents, but you know, not necessarily awesome. Yeah. I mean, yeah. when, growing up, you know, never fought and all that nine, but, but no, I mean, they, they were both uh, supportive okay. to us, sure. you know? So, um, and that, that really goes a long way with, you know, making you feel like you can you can do something because what you know, I wanted to what write and direct like every every other you know person mm -hmm. in the industry, and that you know the chances of I think the chances of doing that is I think it's more blimp pilots in the world than writer and directors more, that more are what, what? Blimp, blimp pilots in blimp the world pilots. you know. Mm -hmm. But you know, regardless it, whether that's true or not, it's not an easy thing to do because so many people want to do it. And it's not an easy thing to do to begin with, and you know you you shoot for the stars and you land on the moon, you know, mm -hmm. and, and that, that goes a long way too. I, I never lose that focus of still wanting to be a writer director. I know for a fact one day I'm going to, I'm going to write a couple of movies and uh, films and if I can make those happen, great. But right now I got to make money and mm -hmm. you know, that's where the, the focus is now. And uh, are you an early riser? Are you a morning person? Are you a night owl or what? Well, no, I mean, I'm kind of a little bit of both. Um, do you have a hard time getting up in the morning or no? Do you enjoy no. The yeah, I wake up, I feel like, hey, you know, another day. Thanks. Another day, you great. Know, I get to get up, <laughs> do my thing. Um, and, uh, you know, no, I mean, like, you know, I, I wake up if, if it's only on through, you know, four or five hours sleep, you know, it, it, it's no good. Let me, let me make it fun. more clear. Do yeah. you get, if you have, do you loathe going to bed early or 
getting up early more, like, which is, because for me, if I got to go to bed before 10 o'clock at night, I like, I'm angry. Yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't like to go to bed. I'll just sit in bed awake. Yeah. Right, exactly. I'm not going to go to sleep until but, 1. And I like the idea, know. I like the idea of getting up early. I know I need to get up early. No, I'm but sure I, I'm terrible at getting up early, right? Yeah. I mean, unless there's well, somebody else depending on me or, you know, I've got to have some sort of accountability there well, or I, I know I'll just hit snooze again. Yeah, I'm kind of but, both. See, I don't hit snooze. Okay? Uh-huh. I, I'm kind of both. Um, I, I don't like going to sleep. And when I wake up, I'm not going back to sleep for the most part, you know? So that's just. But that doesn't mean you goes. get up. I mean, because I don't go back to sleep either, but I'm going to lay there. I'm just going to. No, I'll get up because they're, they're just laying there. No, I'm yeah. not, saying, not saying I'll do that. <laughs> If I'm, yeah, I'm definitely not going to lay there. You know, yeah. if, if I if I wake up, you are up, a man of intention. Oh yeah. Well, if I wake up and and uh, you know whether it's my alarm going off or if if it's just a natural wake up at that point, like there's I am. I'm like, hey, new day. You know, yep. what, what, what can I what can I get done? And and I'm up from then on out. Hitting the snooze just makes me. It, I've, I've done it in the past, and it just makes me feel more groggy when I yep. end up waking up. That's true. It does. Yeah. And I, that, I think there's actually like studies that show yeah. that it makes you like worse. Now, of course, if, if I'm going to bed at one and I've got to wake up at four to get the studio at five, then it's a, yeah, I do that three days in a row, and I'm kind of I'm loopy. I'm not. Right. I'm not yeah, 100% you're gonna get. I'll get sick. Point. Yeah. But. But what about you know, exercise? Are you hitting the gym or are you? I mean, it's, you know, hanging grid pipe and pulling lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I love mountain biking and kayaking and all that good stuff, but yeah. um, I don't get a chance to really do it as much with the time, right?